Hi y'all. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm doing a funny video today. Five places that MGTOWs avoid and five places that they frequent. Okay, let's start off. First place that they avoid is directly sitting near the bar. Now it's because they might feel uncomfortable with watching other men buy women drinks or sending drinks uh, to women. Uh, they might feel uncomfortable around that kind of environment and they might even get upset so they tend to stay off to the side in a corner near the restroom or something like that so they're not expected to buy anything okay um the next place is the pharmacy like type stores like cvs or walgreens or whatever they're going to avoid these type of places first of all because regular items are way overpriced and we know they're cheap uh you know cheap spenders they don't like to spend a lot of money uh unless it's for you know something that they can feel good about themselves for being single okay so those type of stores are only really convenient for like men who have girlfriends men who are uh you know in families women because they contain stuff like condoms, lubricants, um, diapers, makeup, birth control pills. So they really don't need to go in there. They can just go to their regular grocery store to get the simple items that they probably need day to day. So they don't have to go into those convenient pharmacy stores like in the middle of the night or you know on the way to someone's house because they're not, you know, they're not gonna need those things. Third place is concerts they avoid concerts a lot because they all you know have couples sitting around them and they're feeling comfortable because they're there alone or with their friend and then they're probably going to get mistaken as same-sex couples so they try to avoid um, concerts like that um because it makes them feel like an outcast or kind of strange okay the next place that they avoid are strip clubs First of all, it costs to get in, and, uh, some some of them, the nice ones. Second of all, um, they have to give women money. And that's like one of their greatest fears, that a woman is going to get their money and not give them sex in return. <laughs> so they avoid strip clubs like the plague, okay? First of all, even if they did go in one, they couldn't even impress a stripper. And I know strippers have to pretend to like everybody, but they're probably going to be like, obviously annoyed. Um, and plus, if the stripper asked them to buy them a drink, they would probably tell them no, and she'd probably just get mad and call them a loser. Okay. Um, and then again, this is kind of the same as the concert, the movies. They don't like going to the movies by themselves unless it's like early matinee because they don't want to see couples you know they don't want to see other people enjoying their lives and having the life that they wish they could have or that they used to have and you know couldn't have it anymore because they weren't you know good boyfriend or husband material so they were basically kicked to the curb and now they're living the life of mgtow okay Okay, now places that they frequent where you will find them, okay? Hanging around the mall near Victoria's Secrets, okay? This is as close as they can get to some sexy panties and bras for free, okay? This is this is it, okay? Um, the tarot reader, you know, the palm reader, the psychics, they're always going there because they can't talk to anybody else. They can't talk to their friends. They can't talk to the, anybody else about it because, you know, they have this MGTOW label, they're men. But when they go to the, the tarot reader, they're always going to ask, when is my money going to come up? And is there a woman for me in the future? Am I going to get married? Is there a special lady that's going to love me for me? That's their main question. So, <laughs> the tarot reader. The next place is the lotion section of the store. Now this is obvious, okay? They need to have something soft, smooth, and wet to touch or, you know, help themselves. 
because they'll get skin burned or chafed or you know irritated um, and you know it's just the result of not being able to have a woman for, you know. and then the last place of course the pet supply store now the pet the pet supply store it's like a tongue twister the pet supply store because the only bitch that they will ever feed and lay up next to is their dog and you know that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching a thumbs up if y'all like my little lists and if you agree and if you have some more places to add where they can be found or not found put them in there so uh, you can help women avoid those places and the type of men who are lingering around certain places you can spot them out quick oh no 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 okay uh, I think on my next video I will do a place where you can find a real man that way you don't have to waste your time and you don't have to um, you know have to deal with certain loser types okay I'll see y'all in the next one